gun and got him. No cat pelt. All right, let's save. There's a boat over there. Got him. Slaughter fish eggs. Spiky grass. Orphan's Tear. Got him. God damn evil doers. Still have the right to a proper burial. Skuma. Ew. That disgusts me. They're up to wicked deeds here. That is sick. Freaking Khajiits. Nothing else down here? Potion of Magicka? <laughs> See what's in this room? <laughs> Looks like nothing. Check the front of the ship, see if there's anything over here. Yeah, a boatload of nothing so far. <laughs> well, let's say there's, this place has no loot on it. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, absolutely nothing. I thought there'd be at least some loot, but nope, nothing. All I got's a fish. All right, Serana, let's take you home to this castle and see what's going on. Steep Fall Barrow. Oh, hi, Horkers. Hey, babies. Oh, no, you don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They they attacked me. That was a gangbang. That wasn't cool. Goblins. Freaking goblins. on you, sir. Goblins are nasty creatures. What is this place? That's privileged information. Now, move along. You look fancy. <laughs> that kitty attacked me. I wasn't even going to attack him. But he attacked me. Therefore, self defense. All right, Serana, we're almost there. That's it, out there to the north. We used to keep a photo around here to get there and back. Go. Uh, that's the glass armor from Morrowind. That's what it looked like.
This is a giant castle. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, it's a very ominous looking castle. Looks looks kind of collapsed too. It's falling in on itself. Anyone else hear freaking seagulls? Suffer trespassers. Not a trespasser. I've brought. Okay, so before we go in there. Hold on. Fine, don't worry about it. So this back. is the place. Open the gate. All right. Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't. I wanted to talk to you. I don't want to miss on the lore. I still want you to be a million miles away like you were. There you are. I guess you can't bring your follower in here because he disappeared. Hey, so... Before we go in there... What is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Are we going to immersive walk? Let's immersive walk. Okay, it's too slow. Fast travel should fix Lucian. There he is. Come on. He gets stuck a lot. Uh, she doesn't count as a follower yet. She's just sort of an extra. Way I hear it, Lady Serrano's been gone a real long time. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serrano? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. Vampire. I will smite you all. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. My long-lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she I'm has delighted the scroll. to see you, my daughter. Oh my god. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? 
I am Dan, the Paladin, smiter of all evil, protector of the realm, first of his name. Who are you? I am Harkon, lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Your reclusive cannibal cult. Not quite. Though I can see how an outsider might arrive at that conclusion. No. We are vampires, among the oldest and most powerful in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Do I get a reward for finding your daughter? I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. It's not true. And if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. I, Dan the Paladin, would never accept your foul magic creature. And I swear one day to return and smite you all down. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. No, you can't. You can't banish me. I have too much power. Uh Well, apparently he can banish me. Too bad being a vampire in Skyrim is pretty shit. It's not that great at all. <laughs> You're really not that powerful, honestly. There are mods that help improve it, but you gotta solve quite a few mods to make it not shit. <laughs> Get <it right. laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa. There he go. <laughs> oh, there he is. Just like vanished. Well, we will smite these goddamn vampires away. Because we're the paladin. And I Dan W any form of evil. 
I stare it down. And if it's a really big evil, it might Dan S a little bit, but I'll still Dan W afterwards. Hi. You ask me? Those brats in the orphanage are better off now that old Greylord is dead. That's random, but okay. Uh-oh. Vampires dare attack our hull? Oh, hell no. Get smited! What the hell did you just cast on yourself? That's glorious. I want that. He looks glorious. I will send this soul off to the to the hereafter. Here's your health by sixty points. Ooh. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Yes, you can get a free sub with your Amazon Prime membership called Twitch Prime. Just click on the sub button and you can subscribe free for perp. Subscribe free. Yeah, just click the purple sub for free button. After clicking on the sub button. And I have some other news. Wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. The vampires are looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? Uh, thank you, Sean and S. Pareto for subbing on Twitch Prime. She wanted to go home, so took her to, the, to her castle. I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. They also have an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? There were too many of them, and only one of me. So they have everything they wanted. And we're left with nothing. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. We have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Where can I recruit people for our Dawn Guard? I have Castle Felberg on the other side. Red right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarf in ruins yet. She'll help us? Might need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. 
Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to say. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Oh, they had like 20 people. You only want two? Any advice for new vampire hunter? There's only one thing worth remembering. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. And good people will die because of you. I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, you'll do the same. What do you have against the Vigilance? Isn't that obvious? They're soft. The lot of them. Totally unprepared for any real threat. And yet I was the one ridiculed for trying to be ready for anything. Too extreme, they called me. Well, that doesn't seem to have worked out in their favor now, has it? Where did the Dawn Guard come from? Vampires need to be dealt with. Hunted. Rooted out. Destroyed. Once there was a group dedicated to a similar cause. They called themselves the Dawn Guard. That was a long time ago, but the idea was and is a good one. That's why I'm bringing it back. This latest attack proves it's the right time. What is this place? This is Fort Dawnguard. Originally owned by the Jarl of Riften back in the Second Era. It was a bit of a black mark on the Hold's history. I'm trying to put it to good use. What's the Dawn Guard? We hunt down and kill vampires. Haven't you been paying attention? No, I In was the reading old days, chat. The Dawn Guard kept all of Skyrim safe from those blood sucking scum. Then people stopped taking the threat seriously. The Dawn Guard was disbanded, and the vampires came creeping back. Now I'm trying to re establish the Dawn Guard. Take the fight to the vampires for a change. I hope it isn't too late. Can you just keep talking to me? Because I like hearing your voice. You already know as much as I do. And that's a compliment. Watch your back. <laughs> Need something? Why did you join the Dawn Guard? I lost two wives to vampires. I will avenge them. Two? It's good to know that I will not have hey, to do it alone. Like I'm glad this Dawn Guard exists. Fight well. If I recruit that one lady, I'll be able to have Dwarven Crossbow. Oh. Talk about OP. That's probably the closest spot to her. Crossbows are amazing. Ow. Oh, wow. Snow bear. What? Was it an illusion? We get back on the road. Yeah, he got smoke out of existence there.
It says this is a road. It doesn't look like one. This is too steep. This isn't a road. I think the thing is lying. Well, maybe it's right beside us. That's not going to work. Let's go over here then. Yep, yeah, SMH Point Skyrim for the mod list. Try this spell. Ooh. I'm like Sanic using my magic. Concentrating on the spell uh, increases your movement rate by a lot. Drains mana, though. Alteration spell. Let's mark this on our map. You'll skip. Naga, please, come on. <laughs> Nagas don't have any loot on them. Not even a Naga scale. Let's do long stride again. Recognize that sound.
and slows you down half as much when worn. Finds also increased melee with 3% with since tech fixed stacks. Shout. Get him, boys. Gang him. Everyone hit him. Come back around for another attack. Get ready. Get them, boys. God, storm cloaks. Hurrah! For the Empire! Uh, for Skyrim! Don't get too close. She's owned by the Empire. Ah, it's really dead. My soul. <laughs> if you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Over. Stormcloak wants to see <laughs> I think it would have been a cool to have a third faction where you can choose to kill the Imperials and the Stormcloaks and rule Skyrim yourself. If you make like a different character to do that, uh oh. These damn trolls in Skyrim. Next thing you know, it'll be there'll be a bunch of trolls in chat, and that's how you know it's over. Oh no, it started. Look at all the trolls in chat. Oh no. Chat, use fire quickly. Burn the trolls. Put fire in chat. Get some fire to burn all those trolls. They hate fire. Uh, the crab creature is a Drew. And Drew um, make Drew Wax. If you remember more when Drew Wax is an ingredient. And that's where they come from. It's from Drew's. Took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. We need to go back. I love all you guys in chat. Hope you guys are having a good time. Hanging out and watching Skyrim with me. I'm 
Nice chill Skyrim stream. There's some Domgar today. Place is it place dot at me? Place at me. Player dot place at me. That's a troll. Help. That is a nice golem. That's a glass golem. These aren't... Minotaurs. That's a bear. None of these are Minotaurs. What the hell? C1. Nope. <laughs> seven 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 zero zero three E F five two. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's a minotaur. Interesting. Definitely was using a Draugr script. Hmm. What do I so many of the Minotaurs were not, they're not minotaurs, they're bears and stuff. Yeah, it's not a very big minotaur. That's definitely the one, uh, where, that's definitely the one though. That's what I see one. Mm -hmm. 
Nothing going on in here. Random building out of nowhere. Excuse me! What, Bathia? What the fuck? He was so strong! He gotta be like a horker! That's not cool! He gotta be like a horker! Playing on customized difficulty, pretty much uh, just about legendary, somewhere between legendary and master, but more damage. Since uh, in vanilla, with legendary dish, uh, legendary difficulty, you do a quarter of your normal damage, which makes every boss an insane like punching bag where you keep hitting it and nothing happens. Ever thought about Skyrim VR? Why would I ever think about that? Ever. I just, I, I have no interest in uh, playing this game in VR or any game, really. It just plays perfectly fine else, other way, uh oh. Gotcha. Very, very bad, nasty kitty. Uh, removing the pause in the menu just sounds terrible for this game. I would never want that to be a thing. Having the menu not pause with how annoyingly complicated the Skyrim system is would just be horrible. Call me kitty. And they're 
fighting each other over here, aren't they? There's a cave over here. Let's mark it on my tracker. Just so I can fast travel to it if I ever come back. Get we're on the wrong path and you turn around. Go the wrong way, Lucian. You led me astray, didn't you? Uh, it's long stride. It's a modded spell. It's alteration lets you move faster while you're channeling. Basically, use your mana to move quicker. Instead of your stamina. Fire. Mine. I'll take that skeever tail, though. Good for poisons. Time to end this game. Oh, yeah? I'll end your little Time game. To end this little game. I can. Ah, ah. ah Forsworn. Stab. <laughs> Revenge time. You run away so I can stab you in the back. This is the part where you lie down and bleed to death. Is that your hag raven? Oh, God, yes. Had no loot on her. The House of Horrors. That will be for later then.
Hi there. going what the hell are you never should have come here I want that pirate hat Is proving. What is? I want that hat. That hat is mine now. <laughs> ah, be blessed in our case, mercy. Take the dwarven stuff. Dwemer stuff weighs so much. Lucian, I think what's I, on your mind? I think I have a way to improve you to make chat sure, like you. Sure, I'll carry what I can. Chat will like you more. There Let me go. know if you need anything else. There you go. Now he's a pirate. Arr. No DRM here. That looks beautiful. What is that? Oh, it's a fort. It's a orc fort. Fork, fork, fort. Not fork, fort. Now, Lucian. Lucian. Hello there. There's right one thing you. that we have to fix. Make your outfit complete. Ah! No. Ow! A little higher. There you go. Here you go, buddy. See, you're all better. Stronger. So you're, you're good now. Everything all right? Uh, I need, a, I need your eye to to pop it. out so I can put an eye patch on you. You're not cooperating. Arrow face? How dare you? Those are bolts, clearly. Boethia's proving. The following account is true. May it serve as a warning to those with ears to, to hearts and hearts to know, to hear and hearts to know. On a certain day, at a certain time, the faithful gathered to perform certain rituals, hoping to gain a glimpse of their master. The day was correct, summoning true, slash a smoking tear through the veil. She, her very self, appeared before them, terrible and resplendent. She came arrayed in ebony darker than the moonless night, wielding a blade burning hotter than the surface of the sun, 
and though she wore the guise of a dumbner warrior queen, she towered above them like a statue carved from the red mountain itself. Why have you disturbed me? Surprised, the first among them prayed. Oh, Boethia, prince of plots, deceiver of nations, queen of shadows, goddess of destruction, we have come to worship thee. She looked down upon her followers, gathered to bear witness. Frowning, she asked the first, Tell me, who professed, who professed to know me? Who shall I know? How shall I know you? A feared he exclaimed. Each night I pray to thee. Each night I call out thy wondrous names. Surely thou must recognize the sound of my voice. Thou most devoted of believers. She frowned and let out a long sigh. And then, a sudden, at, then of a sudden he was gone, the air from her lungs dispersing him. Turning to the second, she asked, And you, how shall I measure the worth of your existence? Stunned by the power of her voice, he bowed before her darkening vision, visage. She clapped her hands, and he too was gone. To the third, And you tell me, how shall I know you apart from such as were they, or whom there is no, for, of whom there is no trace? Shaken in speeches from the nullifications of his brethren, he whispered, Have mercy upon us. She blinked twice. Once he was in agony, twice he was destroyed. She cast a withering glance across the remaining and said, I do not grant mercy. And so it was the others she put in them to proof, they offering none. She came to me, eyes aglow with anger, tongue wet with hate, and said, Of all my believers but two remain. Tell me, second to last, with what shall you prove your existence? Without hesitation, I drew forth my blade and buried it into the chest of the other who stood beside me, and without fear replied, Ask him whose blood now sprouts from my blade if I exist. She smiled, and the gates of oblivion opened between her teeth. Then she said, Tell me. Now last of my followers, wherefore do you remain where the others do not? I retrieved my blade and offered it up, saying, I am alive because that one is dead. I exist because I have the will to do so, and I shall remain as long as there are signs of my handiwork, such as the blood dripping from this blade. Accepting my gift, she nodded and said, Indeed. If the, in reading your blood boils in your veins and your mind blazes with fire, then Boethia calls you. It is then most wise to subscribe with Twitch Prime and heed her call. Find her on the mount which overlooks Windhelm. Meet us there and be tested. You heard her. <laughs> what is this place? Standing stone ruins. Oh, how cute. Anything special here? Don't look like it. How much farther away is she? Okay, a little bit further ahead. Uh, here. Oh. That's a bad kitty. Stay right there, kitty. Good girl. That's a good kitty listening to 
what I say. Hmm. Oh, thank you, uh, Real Time Gaming, Mapleton, and Foul Laws for offering your offering to Boethia. Congrats. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Isran asked me to find you. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... You had a falling out? Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? About Tree Fitty. Uh, vampires sighting all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? Summer Kid, thanks for the eight-month reset. This is Dan, huh? They have an Elder Scroll. I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Um, there's no time. You need to get moving now. Fine, fine. I can't afford to forget about this work, though. Some very interesting applications. Now, where is it I'm supposed to be going? We're meeting at Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. I'll pick up some euros and bring them back. Honored guest, my name is Beatrice. The raffish companion you see beside me goes by the name of Urzel. The timing of your visit is rather impeccable. Urzel has just secured a fresh skeever which we hope to prepare at the top of the hour. We welcome you to join us in the consumption of this delectable feast. Her accent reminds me of you know nothing, Jon Snow. I don't see the skeever you're talking about. You jest, honored visitor. Its visage is clearly within your range of eyesight. Although, indubitably, you were directed to this camp not by its countenance, but by its aroma, which is quite exquisite. However, it will do us no good without the proper refreshments to balance it. Something odd about your diction, not to mention you. As hosts to our most honoured guest, I humbly apologise for my oratory failings. I am but an erstwhile savage, who only recently gained the powers of articulation. Why set up camp here? Why, there could be no other place. It has been chosen by serendipity herself. For I have ventured far across the river. Where the rogues known as the Forsworn reside. I was once such a rogue. Why'd you leave the Forsworn? A disagreement over refreshments led to my departure. 
Verily, I was not alone in my thirst, for as I ventured north, another came south. Me associate hers up with slaving in the minds of Mocha's go when a similar thirst afflicted him and sent him to this location. It is for that reason that I have dug this settlement Les Casgo. Les Casgo? Why, yes. As half the population is still up, by rule, it still classifies as a stronghold. More or less. By what rules is place an orc stronghold? Why, the rule of estimation. If that is cause for confusion, allow this host to offer a guest an example. Take me associate in, who stands roughly two and a quarter sword length tonight. For the sake of brevity, he might tell a stranger he's only two sword lengths tall, which does <laughs> indeed convey his general stature. In this instance, one always rounds the nearest old number. Now, suppose you were exactly two and a half sword lengths tonight. Why, his distance from the numbers two and three would be equal. In this instance, the rules state we choose the next highest round number when making an estimate. The same rule applies to the composition of this settlement. Given that there are half as many orcs and half as many Bretons, one might estimate that this settlement like consists of said, all orcs and all Bretons. We're having rats for dinner. You in or out? Boring me. Okay. All right, Drink then. and be merry travel. Oh my god, it's been ten and a half hours. How'd that happen? Damn. Time flies in this game. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and stop it here for today though. I'm tired. I will be back on tomorrow.